So I figured I would start screwing around with some of the quote-unquote classic weapons um, in case I ever decide to do the uh, retro game. And wow, it is rather limited. Um, I made just basic generic stuff. There, I don't use any of the Mark V stuff. No attachments. Um, no circuits. So that's probably really hampering me a lot. Um, the plasma cutter, I'm assuming it is going to be unchanged. They don't actually give you a schematic for it. Uh, the flamethrower is a pneumatic torch and survey charge. The survey charge is modded to give you a, uh, an incendiary grenade. And it's it's very underwhelming. Let me just say that. Um, <clears throat> Let's go ahead and swap out the javelin gun for the flamethrower because it's it's a really sad pathetic beast. Um, so we'll go with the javelin gun and the force gun. Um, so the force gun does a delayed uh, reaction pulse thing. The top charge is just your basic thing. The javelin gun up. still shoots the, tele the telemetry probe up top, but obviously you don't get the electrocution. I stand corrected somehow they did that. I guess I wasn't paying attention to what the other So Again, this doesn't have any mods in it. Um, the javelin gun seems to be pretty effective. Uh, I am on impossible. I guess you're going to have to take my word for that. The force gun. Seems to be pretty effective at keeping mobs away. Still seems very ineffective at actually Um, I think that. So then you remember to kill these guys. The uh, javelin gun and the force gun are actually going to be fairly useful. Um, yes, I still play the game screw around with this stuff. So, let's go ahead and look at the pulse rifle. And, um, I guess there aren't any other weapons. I was looking at the schematic for the line gun, and I'm not really, I haven't actually played classic, so I'm not really sure if the basic line gun is going to be the same weapon in in the classic game, uh, in the retro game, as as what it was in the original. Uh, I never used it playing Dead Space. I didn't like how few uh, bullets you could carry for it at any given time. The line racks were always overpriced. Um, so the line gun is basically just your line gun. You have the military engine on top with just the attachment and here we have a So let's see how these guys stack up. Again, no mods. Um okay. I had anticipated that these were going to be rather crappy compared to the weapons that I make uh, for myself because I throw a lot of mods in them, a lot of upgrade circuits and such, but these weapons seem to work um, rather well and I imagine that once you start putting upgrade circuits and such, 
they will work rather well, even on impossible difficulty. Uh, one thing that I do want to pull out is the plasma gun and the flamethrower, because the flamethrower really is a substandard weapon. Um, I'm not really sure why I ever played with it on the original games. I think I did mostly just to get rid of the little So I think that doing a classic mode playthrough or a retro playthrough uh, will probably go okay with just the basic weapons. I'm not going to use these for my New Game Plus. I really like the toys that I build for myself. But you shouldn't be too disappointed by what uh, what we're given for the classic mode.